Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, Axius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into your reading. This is a three card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. I have your Orisha Tarot out here to clarify. Um, let's run through your cards and then we'll get going. All right. So your first position, you have the King of Cups clarified by the Earth element. OK, second position, you have the Four of Wands in the reverse clarified by the Devil. OK, third position, you have the Three of Cups. Clarified by Oba. Top of the deck, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Clarified by the Enslaved Prisoner or the Hangman. Bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Swords in reverse. Clarified by the Nine of Fire. Three of Swords clarified by the Nine of Fire. All right, y'all, let's get into the spread. Um, while you're listening to this reading, it could help if you try to filter the messages through the 12th house. I'm picking up a 12th house energy here, um, and it may resonate better for you, or you'll be able to better understand it when the situation arises, or it's already happening. But let me give you some 12th house attributes. First, it is ruled by Pisces, okay? It says the 12th house is the place of seclusion, of getting away from it all. It also represents all kinds of confinement, from hospitals to prisons or religious retreats. Maternal aunts and uncles are at home here, as are many inspirational and creative interests, such as dance, skating, poetry, photography, and video. The quarant's disappointments, okay? So things that you may have feel disappointed about, okay? Your disappointments, secrets, hidden fears, and limitations will emerge here, as will as all, excuse me, as will all clandestine activities, like secret things, all right? Love affairs and forms of escapism through positive interests in the above mentioned creativity or negatively through alcoholism or drugs. Attracting attention by means of attempted suicide is also very much a 12th house matter, okay? So I am seeing something here. All right, guys, let me move out the way. Something's going down in the 12th house, but it's going down with a group. It's going down with a group or a particular person. Um, like your first set out, you have the King of Cups, clarified by the element of Earth. This King of Cups is either you or it's someone you're getting to know um, or someone that's been in your energy for a while. Uh, the One of the biggest things that I feel here, because another thing for uh, this 12th house is karma. You're trying to close out a karma. So the reason why all these hidden things are coming up is so that karmic things from a past life or things that have been accumulated in this life can finally be closed out and processed. So this is going to go down with a person or a group. All right. This King of Cups person, you either it's either you or like I said, someone else. Um, there's creativity about you or this person. This doesn't have to be your main job. This could be something that you these could be things that you're strongly interested in. OK, so, you know, in the description of the 12th house, they mentioned video and photography and things like that. And that is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is also a mystic. All right. A spiritualist, a singer, a rapper, um, someone who's, uh, you know, a orator uses, you know, their voice. This person has a platform, you or whoever we're talking about. OK, give me a second. Yeah, there's something very spiritual or, you know, a singer, rapper, artist, painter, whatever, something creative. Whoever this is, they're creative where they use their voice. Um, and there seems to be something established about them, but there also seems to be something splintered about them. OK, every time I get this card, I always see these four parts and I feel like they all need to be integrated. We need to remove these borders. Mm. Mm hmm. Now, I don't know 
exactly what the situation is that goes down. Like here, it could go down um, near water, like near a natural body of water, or like uh, you could go to a state with a huge, like Chicago, we have Lake Michigan, or you go to Miami, or you're going somewhere in California or something like that. There's either a vacation or retreat, you're, you're visiting somebody. And when you visit or go on this group trip or whatever this is, you're going to notice something about this person or you're going to notice something about yourself. All right. A hidden thing about yourself could come up. I mean, and, and it could it could even be hidden just for the fact that you didn't realize it interacting with these people that you were doing this. OK. All right. So take it as it resonates. But give me a sec, y'all. Definitely. So here in your second position, you have the four of wands clarified by the devil. Somebody is highly attached to something. It could be a behavior, but to me, I feel like, yes, a behavior, but also a group. Four of Wands could be their family, right? Okay. It could also be their friends. We have Three of Cups. Highly attached. There's something that happened or there even could be secrets in this group or secrets within this family. Hold on, because the devil is here that makes this person feel like they can't break away from them. Mm hmm hold on. It's something, mm. Now, when you meet them, now, like, if you're the, I almost feel like a leader of the group, right? Because the King of Cups feels heavily attached to the three. They're the only cups out here. So we got, we got our leader and we have the group. OK, now you could be this leader of the group. Right. Um, or you when you meet this person, you meet their friends and family, but they're jealous. Somebody is going to in the group is jealous, whether this is your friend group or the friend group you meet highly like this is going to be somebody in the group that um, because they want to keep it all happy and fun, prepare for like backhanded compliments like, uh, you know, little times where somebody's whispering and somebody's not acting like an adult. I'll tell you that much. OK, so prepare yourself for that. If you if this has already happened or you're on your way to this place, it's that kind of energy. It's going to be uncomfortable and it's going to take you by surprise, possibly if you are entering the group or maybe if you are the person who is like over the group and you invite somebody they're not going to treat your new person right. The reason why this energy is going to happen is because of the splinterness of this King of Cups. Okay? You met the King of Cups as this person here. And you didn't know about their other personas. Okay? Because I think that's the problem with this person. Someone could have a, um, an issue with perfectionism with the Four of Wands. OK, so maybe when they met you, they were behaving as one persona. And see, guys, this something could be narcissistic here, but something could also just be very like personality defect. Right. Not where you have to not where the person has to be a narcissist. They just have they're just too they're not integrated enough for there to be a, 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 a like an authentic relationship. You know, it's almost like I can't really. You know, I'm not I'm not mad at you, but I can't be around you kind of thing. Mm hmm. Because, yeah, you have a problem with who you are. Right. And I don't need to prove myself to you or this group kind of thing. But that's if it's that's if that resonates with you, because this group, they're not nice. And for whatever reason you feel. Hold on, y'all. This could be somebody's husband. You feel like, um. You this you can't get away from them no matter how hard you try. I cannot get away from them or get you away from them. Right. You 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 invited me on this trip. I, I thought it was just going to be me and you. And here's your all your friends or all your family and something like that. Like, how did they even find out <laughs> about what we were doing kind of thing? OK, give me a second. Mm -hmm. And see, these people hold this king back. They hold them back. And I think if you come into the king's energy, you represent one of these aspects of him that the group doesn't like or the group finds to be uh, imperfect or not cool or not um, 
the standard or their norm. Like it, this is their problem. Like it, it, what you guys could find normal, they could find weird. You know what I mean? Hold on, give me a second. Somebody is being used in this situation, though. Okay, and I, I feel that heavily here with the Nine of Pentacles, uh, enslaved prisoner, and then like the way this Four of Wands is attached to the devil. Someone's being used to their detriment. I mean, it's either you or the person you met, okay? Like heavily being used. It's, they're being used for their stuff. They, this group uh, is an opportunist. If you are like being invited into the group and the ringleader, King of Cups, has you there, they want to use you in some form of way too. Yeah, with the Nine of, Cup, Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is the thing where... I mean, to enslave you, mm, I don't know. This could be something you have to let go. This could, I feel like opportunist kind of energy, social climber kind of energy. It doesn't have to be you, but it could be within the group. And especially if you find yourself being established, like making ground for whatever it is you do and you think you need to be a part of this group, you don't. Like this could be like an aspect of yourself where you think like I'm, I need to be seen or represented in this way for what I do. It's almost like, like if it's the other way around with this King of Cups, it's like, um, I really want to do this, but I don't because of them. I, uh, like, I want to be a, I'm just throwing out a weird example. I'm a pastor, but I want to be a rapper or I'm a, um, you know, I work at in corporate, but I really want to do, I don't know, like what I said, what figure skating or something like that. But the thing is, is that the person, the thing that they want to do, they actually have talent for. They actually have a talent, you know, and um, but they don't because of a group or this trying to be perfect thing. With the emotionalness of the King of Cups and the Three of Cups, somebody is too desperate. The emotions and the validation mean more to them than than what it is that they're either here to do or that they're really good at. Or this relationship that you guys are trying to form. They're, they're trying to be validated by these people. Mm-hmm. Now, somebody, uh, there you have the Three of Swords in the reverse, clarified by the Nine of Fire. All right? Three of Swords in reverse. Somebody could already be in a relationship. You, I mean, you have the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords twice. So what I want to say is, like, let's say you're new to the group and there was a pre-existing relationship you're not aware of. Oh, like he he or she used to date so-and-so, right? And they didn't mention it. And you're catching all of the shade from so-and-so. It's because they used to date or they still date or they on and off have sex. Like they can't, they haven't been able to separate from each other. Because somebody is like mad that you're around. Somebody's mad. Now... The reason why the Nine of Wands is here is, is if you go any further with this or keep this going, um, you're going to find yourself a little heartbroken because this King of Cups, because they don't have a backbone with these people, they are going to uh, like still sleep with this person because this person may be over them, may not even want to deal with them. May not want to deal with the King of Cups, but as soon as they bring you around, now they have been reignited to approach the King of Cups because the King of Cups doesn't have a backbone or whatever the case may be. Um, they take it on because this person is part of the group that they think is so important in their life. Right. And then they start up and now you're caught up in a love triangle. OK, so be careful with that. Don't get used. Because this person's probably getting used, but you don't get used, okay? Because I know that they're going to be fake, but there's one person in particular who's not going to be able to hide the fact that they do not like you. Oh, okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. You are uh, a success. You are. This is first, like I said in the beginning, you're going to close, uh, close out a cycle with the world in the upright. You're closing out a cycle. And you're noticing that you can expand and you don't have to bring everybody with you. All right. There's something about that here about not being able to work with certain people. May possibly I didn't totally do my due diligence on this group all the way or whatever. And see, because at the top of the deck, it's funny. We have the King of Cups out here past the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. And we know that this person is like a codependent. And then we have the Seven of Swords. 
Now, the seven of swords is connected to the king of cups. So it all depends on, is this king of cups lying to the queen of cups already in their life? Or are they lying to you because you feel like you need to be with them or a part of their group? Either way, somebody's getting lied to. All right? About something. Somebody's lying about something. And then there are others. Like, there are other feminine energies. So past the seven of uh, swords in the... I said seven of pentacles, y'all. I'm sorry. Past the seven of swords in the reverse is the queen of wands and the empress both in reverse. And these could be these chicks or dudes, you know, depending on your situation. It's like, you're lying to me about them or these people plot against me. Mm-hmm. Hold on. It's a waste. It'll be a loss. They'll steal something from you. They'll come against you. Hold on. Yeah, you have the will of fortune right now. So whatever's happening, you're, yeah, you have the will of fortune and the king of pentacles. I, you don't need this group. You don't, if this was a group you used to hang with, you don't need to return to them. Like if you've established yourself and made a name for yourself in some kind of way, going viral or your artwork or something is doing really well, returning to this group as the king of pentacles to prove something is unnecessary. The, these, if this is an old group or a new group, this is your obstacle. This is the obstacle the 12th house is trying to bring up for you. It's about being perfect, being used um, and people keeping secrets from you and being fake with you, like fake nights. This is something, hold on. Yeah, I mean, there's illusions here, fantasies, illusions, imprisonment, like not knowing, it's not knowing certain secrets keeps you locked in the group or, you know, not recognizing something for what it is. But see, when I stay with these people or this person, I sabotage something that I'm creating for myself. If, 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 if I'm working on it, it's getting, it's getting sabotaged because I'm worried about them. Or if I make it and I actually do it and I come back to them, they find a way to, self, to sabotage me. But it was a self-sabotaging. I really can't blame them. I will have to blame myself for returning to them, for taking part of this with them. Right? Man. Okay, so let this go. Let it go. Let these people go. Let, I think you, you don't have nothing to prove. And if you are with someone who constantly feels like they have to prove themselves, they'll always be dishonest with you. They'll look like this person. Dishonest. Look, because he look in another way. Only him and the emperor do that with their eyes. You know, look, look one way, but face another. Because there's something. Go oh, my gosh. Yo, I'm sorry. I don't know if you heard this, man. Out here screaming. Oh, sorry about that. But um, yeah, like I was saying, only the King of Cups and the Emperor look away, but face face one way, but look another. You know, that's because they're, they're something shifty or they're lying about something. Also, this person, when it comes to hiding things with all these cups, they could have, they could have a drinking problem or some other uh, problem. Like with the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, Devil, they could even have sexual issues. This is somebody who needs to be put back together, right? And, and actually dealing with this group, you may find you're integrating parts of yourself because you could be asking yourself, what the hell am I doing here? What the hell am I doing around these people, right? How, what from my past has me even in this energy, okay? It's something I feel for that. But either way it goes, I do feel like uh, a success, whether it's with you or them, but you, somebody's got to recognize I don't need a certain thing or certain people. And you need to move on. You need to move on. Okay? That's what I have for you. If the reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. All right, guys. See you.